Today's show is brought to you by a new podcast produced by MJ Bulls Media called Hemp Barons. It's a weekly show about the hemp companies, products, and entrepreneurs who are using this amazing plant to change the world. Listen to a new show every Tuesday on iTunes, Spotify, and Stitcher. And if you like the show, please subscribe, rate, and review. We've we've helped develop the Jimmy Buffett's brand for them. Margaritaville is Jimmy Buffett's holding company, and they created Coral Reefer to take that brand in, into the cannabis space. So Terra was pushing that brand forward and launched it in Florida and going to be taking it nationally shortly. And we really tailor-made a great pot system for them. From MJ Bulls Media, it's the Raising Cannabis Capital Show. I'm Dan Humiston, and on today's show, how these veterans from nicotine vaping are using their experience and their contacts from that space to help cannabis companies expand their vape brands. Today on the Raising Cannabis Capital podcast, we are joined by Gary Krimer Schmoyes from the Blink Group. Gary, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. I'm happy to be here. Well, I've known about the Blink Group for a while. I was at a Christmas party at your offices a couple of years ago. And I'll tell you what, I left there really impressed with a lot of things, but your team is really impressive. I'll tell you this, before I went to the party, I didn't know a lot about the Blink Group. I knew your brands but I didn't know that much about the Blink Group. And, you know, I'm reading from your website right now. The Blink Group creates, distributes, supports best-in-class cannabis vaping hardware and complementary ancillary products, which on the surface seems like a pretty broad scope. Ah, so uh, the end client for us are the ones that take the cannabis and make extracts out of it that are looking for products that are good right now, but also something bespoke something that only they have. So we can R&D a product for scratch for them with everything from making sure the components into the the final product are all done at, at the highest level to form factors and things like that. We worked with large companies and helped them make their vaping brands stand out from the competition. I see. I see. Well, I'm looking at the list of brands under the Blink Group umbrella. Very impressive. Maybe just to our listeners, just give us an idea of some of your top brands. So in terms of the the clients that we're servicing, we work with uh, multi-state operators here. Mm -hmm. One of them is Sertara. We've we've helped develop the Jimmy Buffett's brand for them. Margaritaville is Jimmy Buffett's holding company, and they created Coral Reefer to take that brand into the cannabis space. So Terra was pushing that brand forward and launched it in Florida and going to be taking it nationally shortly. And we really tailor-made a great pot system for them that used our patented X-Pro technology. And that is one of the differentiators, the taste, the consistency of the vaping product is better than our competition. And I can get into it a little bit more in detail, what makes the X-Pro and our cartridge technology stand out. The advantage you have is your team's experience because they were in vaping long before cannabis. This is what I found most impressive is they have so much experience in the vaping world and they have so many contacts within the vaping world that people running the company on a day-to-day basis are no Dumas de Raleigh, and he's besides being the CEO of the Bling Group, he's also the chairman of the International ISO Standards Committee on Vaping Products and the European Commission on Vaping Standards. So he's one of the world's foremost experts in vapor technology. The other co-founder, Sasha Xenov, he had a branding company in New York called Brand Labs and different international nicotine vaping brands needed entry into the U.S. So he would create branding and marketing packages for them. Both of them realized that They're seeing a lot more questions and a lot more requests for work in cannabis vaping. And they looked at the space and they just saw that cannabis vaping technology was years behind nicotine vaping technology. So on that basis, the need for next generation products was very obvious. And that's how Blink Group came to be. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Take all the contacts, all the relationships, 
everything about the vaping industry and apply it to cannabis. On that same line, you have a patent on some of the technology. Is that correct? That's right. One of the next generation products that we patented currently, and we do have a few more in the works, is a cartridge technology where the dominant cartridge technology right now is the C-cell, a center post, and a heating happens in that center post using a ceramic coil. But every time using the standard technology now to take a puff, it heats up all of the oil in that cartridge. And as you do it over a period of days, and sometimes vaping cartridges can be used for weeks, it degrades the oil because it gets hot and then cools off. And then it gets hot again and it cools off. Our expert technology put the heating element underneath the oil. And it's gravity fed, so as you pick up the pen, the chamber fills with what you're going to be puffing at that time, and only that is heated. So as you're using your vaping product over the course of a few weeks, uh, maybe even a month, the taste stays the same. The terpenes are not burnt off. The color does not change because of the constant heating and cooling, heating and cooling. I want to take a quick break to thank all of our Raising Cannabis Capital listeners and to remind you that you can support the show by subscribing to MJ Bulls Premium. It's only $4.99 per month and you gain access to all previous Raising Cannabis Capital episodes as well as all other MJ Bulls produced podcasts and exclusive content, including companies' investor pitch decks. Go to mjbulls.com and enter promo code RAISING to get your first month free. let's say over the next 12, maybe 18 months, what are some of the other things that you guys will be doing? We need to scale up. We need to to hire salespeople and we need to expand the footprint to California, to Canada, to be in the markets where our clients are and where the growth is happening. A good portion of the money is going to go into boots on the ground, putting a couple of more offices, distribution centers. And there's also partnerships where we're looking to develop new technologies that we see out there because we do have that network and expertise. We're seeing some of the best technologies out there. And sometimes they're in the nicotine space. We will be working with partners to develop great nicotine products, but redeveloping them for the different viscosities of cannabis. And also there's CBD vaping. We already have some CBD producers that are using our cartridges and we're looking to maybe work closer with them, help them expand nationally using our hardware and kind of grow with them and set up different partnerships all over the country to get CBD vaping. You have a lot on your plate and it's not going to be inexpensive to do that. Tell us about your capital raise. So we recently kicked off our Series A We're working with Viridian Capital Advisors, and we are looking for $5 million with the Series A to expand on our current base and do some of the things that we've discussed. And we're looking to do that at a $20 million valuation. I'm telling you, the guys over at Viridian are great. I know Scott Griper really well. Super good guy. You're in good hands over there. It sounds to me like this opportunity won't be around for long. We're very happy working with Scott. Yeah, we already have a couple of lead investors that we started conversation with and people know us. We have been around for almost two years. So a lot of these CCs and family offices and investors were just waiting for us to kind of structure the Series A and get going with it. So we think we'll have a good reception. Yeah, like I said, it doesn't seem like this one will be around for very long. We've been speaking with Gary Kermerschmoyce from the Blink Group. And we have all their contact information and investor information on the MJ Bulls website. Gary, thanks for being on the show today. Dan, thank you so much for having me. Very happy to be part of the MJ Bulls podcast. Good luck. Thank you so much. Thanks for listening to Raising Cannabis Capital. To learn more about today's guest or to become a guest, visit our website at mjbulls.com. Today's show is produced by MJ Bulls Media with original music produced in part by Jamie Humiston. I'm Dan Humiston, and you've been listening to the Raising Cannabis Capital Podcast. 